further ado, please join me in welcoming to the stage John Clouder, 2022 Nobel Prize winner in physics. 여러분 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. I assert that real truth can only be found by observing natural phenomena. The current world is saturated with pseudoscience, with bad science, with scientific misinformation and disinformation, and what I will call techno-cons. Perception of truth frequently differs significantly from real truth. Moreover, given sufficient promotion and advertising, perception of truth becomes truth. It's, pr it's promotion by commercial enterprise. It's called marketing. You can change truth. You can claim false observations if necessary. My favorite in this act is ChatGPT. It's very good at doing exactly that. It has uh, lots of man-made pseudoscience that copy and manipulate and emulate. It can lie and cheat even better than its human mentors. Recently, the Nobel Foundation has formed a new panel to address the issue called the International Panel on Information Environment. They plan to model it after the UN's International Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC. I think, personally, that they are making a big mistake in that effort because, in my opinion, the IPCC is one of the worst sources of dangerous misinformation. I believe that the climate change is not a crisis. Real truth could be found if and only if you learn to recognize and use good science. It's especially true when real truth is politically incorrect and does not reflect the political business aims or desires of leaders regarding climate change, the, the dominant process, I believe, has been misidentified by factors of 200. Their lack of scientific knowledge allows science and pseudoscience to promote what I will refer to as technocons, political opportunistic aims. Very importantly, a referee must apply good calculus-based statistical methods, along with good common sense. I would also like you to consider methods used by two of my former associates at University of California, Berkeley, Nobel laureates. When they were shown data, a group of data points, and told, look, the trend is obvious. Louis Alvarez, the Nobel laureate, would look at it and say, flattest line I ever saw. Charlie Towns would look at it and say, I don't see in the data what you're telling me I am supposed to see. I could confidently say there is no real climate crisis. Climate change uh, does not cause extreme weather events. Thank you.